just what just happened? I mean, I don't understand like that whole situation. Okay, so th this was a, a pretrial date, and what we did is there's um, there's about 14, 15 motions that have been filed with the court, uh, some to dismiss uh, the, the indictment, some to uh, bring highlight to the court that there's been prosecutorial misconduct and misconduct by law enforcement, uh, some to just endorse witnesses, some to um, compel the, the production of, of uh, evidence and testimony. Uh, so all of that was reserved for October 19 for a hearing, um, and all of those motions will be taken up with the court at that time. Okay, what um, misconduct do you think there is by the prosecution? Well, I've, I filed a, a motion uh, alleging police misconduct, the uh, prosecutorial misconduct to come later, um, and I've pr provided video to the court uh, demonstrating what I think the misconduct is, and uh, those people will be deposed and those people will be put under oath, and uh, maybe they'll tell the truth, I doubt it, but we'll see. Um, so the I've seen the video that you're speaking of. Um, what is typical, um, you know, for a lead investigator? Like I don't know how this works, you know, as a lay person. But whenever you see the guy like take the file out of the office, that is not acceptable. I guess that's not normal for a case like this. Uh, I would love to hear a legitimate law enforcement reason why that was done. We'll have to see what what people testify about. I can't really answer that right now. I think the video speaks for itself. Uh, what um, can you detail do you think is the uh, prosecutor problem? I'm, I'm not going to go into that right yet. So it, not, not the current prosecutor, let's put it that way. There's no problem with the current prosecutor. So Don Trotter. Right. Okay. No problem there. I think the world of him, he's a very good guy and have no complaints about him. As far as what was said today is the state wants you to not try this publicly and you're saying you have a right to defend your clients. What would you just have to say about the, what the issue at hand? Um, uh, I filed a document with some exhibits and, and they're, not a, they're not pleased with the timing of it. I understand that. Can you elaborate on that a little bit? Exhibits maybe? Right. The exhibits are a video from the jail and the sheriff's department and they depict things that are, are very unpleasant. I get their being upset with it. We'll just have to see what happens. Possibly the scenes we've seen in the probable cause statement. I, I, I ask rhetorically, what do you think it shows? What do you, um, as far as them telling you that they don't want you to try this in the public eye, so to speak, I mean, what do you say to that? Like, obviously, the public has a right to know. He's a publicly elected official. Like, I don't get it. I, I don't either. I think that the... the public should know what's going on here. I think that I, I vigorously defend my clients. Uh, I filed something with the court that I believe to be an open record. Uh, I don't think that this, the state could withhold that from you if you uh, provided the court with sunshine requests or, or uh, you know, demands for, for the, the disclosure of those documents that they're public again and uh, we'll just have to see how the court rules on that. When he, when the judge said he rose this case to a level three security, what does that even mean? There's different security levels in CaseNet. For some things are public, some things are at a higher security level for the type of case it may be. Um, in that setting, only particular people can access the docket. Do you agree with that in this case? Um, no, I think that this is uh, again. This has been so public, and it was you know it was an explosion on the public when it occurred. Uh, it completely blindsided the sheriff, um, and I you know they're. They're starting to discover things and, and learn things that is bothering them, and they believe that it, it exonerates them and shows that they're not guilty of, of the things that are alleged. Um, it, it's shocking to me, uh, as law enforcement officers engaged in law enforcement, that they are somehow being accused of criminal activity when the law is pretty clear about the immunity that they would have for their conduct. Uh, the state is endorsing witnesses that are fired individuals from the jail. There are people who were removed for one reason or another. They're, they're taking people who were within the jail while uh, the sheriff was sheriff and Ms. Tomaszewski was uh, a jailer and, and taking their word for what occurred. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't understand any of this. I'm not, I'm not certain why any law enforcement officer would uh, listen to, to these allegations the way they've been presented. Uh, in my estimation, this is an investigation in search of a crime discovery that I've been provided thus far 
sort of reinforces that. Uh, they're just looking for any, any little thing that they can find and say, okay, well, that's criminal activity. And then they tell the public that that's criminal activity and people are very upset and, and believe it. Uh, but there's gonna be people placed under oath and they'll understand what these questions mean and they'll have to answer them and they'll be tested against other people. That's the way perjury usually gets established. Do you think this is gonna be a lengthy process then? I hope not. Uh, there's somebody uh, who's facing a quo warranto action and, and trying to be removed from office. And so we've got a lot to do in a short amount of time. Do you feel like the sheriff was removed unfairly from his elected position? I think it was a political assassination. That's what I think. Any more?